Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Check this out, man. Listen, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, man. Check it out, man. First off, if y'all rocking with the shirt, man, let me know. Do I need to put this in the store, man? Because this thing here is fire. I said this shirt here is fire. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. This joint fire. But anyway, I, I, I just made it this weekend and all that good stuff, man. But look, that ain't what we're here to talk about, man. First off, first things first, before we even get started, man, I want y'all, if you got a time, if you got time, you got a little time, you ain't doing nothing or whatever like now. My guy Triumph is going through something real tough right now, man. Probably the toughest thing that any human being could deal with, man. Any of us. I'm not. I don't want to tell y'all what it is, even though he put it on Twitter. But you know, I don't like to put. I don't like to do that or whatever. Let's just say, hey, he need. He needs some energy. Let's give him my energy. Go over there. I'm gonna leave his Twitter down there. With love, energy, nothing but positive thoughts. All that's good stuff, man. That's all we want to send his way, man. Like I said, this is probably the toughest thing that any of us could deal with. And like I said, man, he's part of the old head crew, man. So being part of the old head crew, man, we got to support the old heads, man. I thought Triumph was like 19, bro. I thought he was like 19. The kid, he look, he looks so young. He's talking, he's, talking, he's talking like 69. No, I'm just joking. He ain't 69. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He part of the OG. Oh, I was like, oh, how you going to be up here, Triumph? You like 18 or 19? That joker said, bruh, bruh. I'm an 80s baby, bleh. What are you talking about? I said, well, dang, hey, it is what it is. So, like I said, man, we going through some stuff right now, man. Check out my boy. Go over there. Nothing but love, uh, energy, positive energy, positive vibes. Let's send some his way, man. And, you know, like I said, without further ado, man, let's, you know, like I said, like, let's just get the video underway. Uh, now that we've gone from something that matters to something that completely doesn't matter, like 2K, man, let me tell y'all something, man. Like, we, you gotta put this whole thing in perspective because because the way that stuff goes for us in life and all this stuff, man, this stuff ain't important at all. It ain't. But it's a necessary evil because, you know what I'm saying, we're trying to push forward and we, you know, we gotta, we gotta make, make things light when we can make them light, man. And so, speaking of making things light, you gotta, hey, listen, man. The boy Quavo Quavo W Stream. I love all of y'all. Logo tourney champs. At I mean, at some point, they gotta respect it. All the other stuff, all the stuff fake, really. Uh, keep it down there. I don't get into all that fake stuff, man. Listen, like he, he, you lost me at the end, but I, I feel what you're saying, man. Listen, I get what you're saying. You logo tourney champion. That's all that matters to me, man. Logo tourney. You can't say nothing about it. The best player with a logo, you get the pop, you get the pop all that shit. You want to pop? They can't say nothing. Just like you was in the stream yesterday, and hey, y'all hating on me. Shut up. Shut up. That's what you're talking about. Shut up. Say something else. Who? Oh, my. Oh, my. Say something else. That's, that's how it was yesterday, man. It was a very entertaining stream. Um, One thing about Quavo, win, lose, or draw, you knew it was going to be entertaining, but the way that they made like I said, he was already playing with two guys that I rock with heavily anyway. So you got Bash, I rock with Bash. You know what I'm saying? I'll be in his stream. I've been in Demon Kev's stream since 2K, I want to say 19, when he was playing with D-Time and all that. Like everybody was was D-Time. I was looking at Demon Kev because I was like, this dude here got some of the best defense in the game. And on and he on next gen where he can actually shoot the ball and not just have to, man, that was tough. And then you got, man, listen, Quavo, the way that they played that, I think they were down 3-2. Everybody got him counted out. He went and changed a couple of sigs and um and changed the play style up a little bit and said, I'm gonna start quick stopping and hitting them with some of these fades or whatever. Because it's hard to I don't even know how you can explain it, but it's it's like when you make adjustments and like you see what the person in front of you doing, and it's like, do I really want to lose this because I wanna win the way that I wanna win, or will I change what I'm doing in order to win? And, and, and Quavo just was like, look, bruh, you're not going to beat me, but, you know, you're not going to beat me because I didn't adapt to what y'all doing. Y'all playing me a certain way. I see y'all want to just make me rim run and make me do this, but y'all don't know I shoots that rock too. I'm a little bit different with that square button, as he always say. So, 
You know what I'm saying? He changed it up, started hitting them with some quick stops, some step backs, a couple fades, mixed in some rim runs, take the twos, take the threes, and then after that, bro, Demon Kev turned up on defense that last game, something crazy. Bro, that last game, they ain't have to do nothing but cruise. Kev probably got about two or three steals right in the opening possession. They was rattled. All they had to do was bring it home. And then y'all already know my guy Bash. My guy Bash, he, shoot, he about to tell y'all what he was doing. Y'all might be wondering, what was Bash doing while all of this was going on? Well, Bash about to tell you what Bash was doing. All right, man. It feel good, you know what I mean? Uncle Demi's invited tournament. Hold on, saying that right. And Big Daddy Bash. Big Daddy Bash. He won himself a belt. Man, I'm feeling real good, man. You know what I'm saying? Shot the Quavo, shot the Big Kev. You know what I mean? It was heavy competition out there, man. But you know, Big Daddy back. Listen, man, barbecue chicken alert. I sat in that corner like a pro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I had messed up internet, all that. I'm on, you feel me? Y'all know I'm on vacation, but shout, yo, man, shout out, I'm joking. Shout out to everybody that's in the tournament, you know what I mean? Of course, I'm gonna pop my jump once my belt comes. You know what I mean? The Alpha, the Omega, the Barbecue Slayer, the 11th wonder of the world. The man with the belt, because that's the way the cars was dealt, man. All right, man. Shout out to everybody at 2K. Shout out to Uncle Demi, man, for pitting on. Hey, everybody, man. Love you guys, man. Hope you guys have a positive and blessed day. Man, I'm a champion, bro. Man, I like this. I like this. I like champion back. Yo, y'all gonna stop cutting my street calling me barbecue dog. <laughs> I'm out, man. I'm out, I'm out. Shout out to my guy, Big Daddy Bash, man. That's how you're supposed to be right there, man. You're supposed to, you're supposed to, we should be able to do like what Quavo did yesterday and go off and pop your when you win. And then you're supposed to be able to come back like Big Daddy Bash did just now. I stood in that corner like a pro. Listen, though, but you was pinching at the right time. You was doing all this stuff at the right time. Sitting in the corner. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Somebody got to do it. Hey, and if you're to pass you the ball, hey, you know what I'm saying? You pass you the ball and you don't hit your shot, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, corner sitters are important, man. Hey, corner sitters lead love too. Hashtag corner sitters need love too. But anyway, I love how Bash, how, how he just look, man. Hey, it is what it is. I did what I did. Uh, we was in it. We won it. I got my belt. And I really wish that more people were able to take it and just, and just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just like, I feel like the tournaments and stuff could be so much bigger if we could do like, like hype them up. You understand how, like, instead of being genuinely mad and think the world against you and everybody just want to see you lose and stuff and everybody got to cry and do this when they lose and, and it's just not a good experience. That's why a lot of people don't even want to get into tournaments because it's not a good experience. It turn you against people. You sitting there, it's just, because you got to hear that other person talk when they beat you doing some beat. That right, look at that. That ain't just corner sitting right there, man. That's that right there. I'm, I'm going to do a video on that, what you're supposed to do when you play playing corners. Corners is not just holding the corner, bro. You are literally responsible for a square that holds square. Because that dude can't play the defense up there by himself. Them corners got to pinch. They got to do all that stuff. Quay was saying all the time. If you ain't pinching out the corner, you ain't doing something. You're not doing nothing, man. So, you know, it is what it is. But like I was saying. If we could have more WWE moments like how Bash just did and stuff like that, I think that the game and the tournaments would be way more lit. It would be way more fun. And it would just be a lot more, a lot more to them or whatever, man. But yo, that ain't what we're here to talk about either, man. Up next, we got my boy. You got your boy Dime Work, man. Your boy Dime Work was like the NBA, the 2K community. Paint defense is ass. And then this is me. Look, look, this is how I feel too. I'm trying to go down. I'm trying to go straight to the rim and just. I'm going to the rim, and I, 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 I can't never just score like that. I see other people do stuff like that and just be brain dead going to the rim and all the time, and they just get rewarded. But me, that's what happens to me. This is, this is what you hear. Shit out here, nigga. That's what you hear when it's me, man. Now, my boy, the OG Grandmaster Sensei, man, he came up and he says, um, paint defense on ones, twos, and threes is way worse than paint defense on five. I definitely agree with that. Uh, he said, kind of like your yeah, IRL, no. Uh, we're going to get to this one right here in a second. We're going to talk about that. Uh, he says, way better on current. This is exactly life. It's way better on current gen um, because current gen is similar to 2K21. He's absolutely correct. Uh, positioning and all that stuff really does matter on current gen. Never had an issue with paint defense. A lot of them just don't have strength on interior. I, I halfway agree with that, uh, but it's not all the way right. Uh, let me see. Driving to the paint. Driving 
paint defense is godly. The problem is the standing paint defense is terrible. The contrast is staggering. That I agree with 100%. We need to like that tweet right there, man. It do say with WTF, and then he says uh, the clip doesn't determine paint defense uh, in the game. I agree with that too because the issue with paint defense is not when they driving. A lot of times, if you can square that guy up and you can get in front of him and, and, and get in his way and stuff when he's driving, you're going to be good. You're going to be able to stop it if you're already there and you jump at the right time. But the problem comes in when they get in the paint and... <laughs> Dang, bruh, bruh, is it, is, is, is it 15 seconds yet? Still, still pump faking, still pump. Okay, he finally jumped, let's go. They don't call, they, it's no three seconds, and it's not the five seconds, and it's like eight seconds or whatever, and they just get there. The, and the other issue that I have with it is, when I'm already there, a lot of times you can't, if the person is not a good player, yes, it works. A lot of these things are made for people that are not good players. There's only about 1,100 good players in the world, and 11 million bad ones. Like, and that's not even a, an exaggeration. So, when you do, when you see what's going on, it's not the fact that, a good play, a bad player can't take advantage of this stuff, but a good player can exploit it to their advantage. So, like I said, it's the standing part when I'm already in front. I don't even got a problem with the guy in front of me. The issue that I got the biggest issue with is when I'm already in front of him and I got my hands up and we we chest the chest off, his shoulders in my chest, and he pump fakes and it moves me out of the way. I already got position. I got 90-something strength. I got 99 interior. And he just still moves me out of the way. I don't understand. And I got post lockdown and all that good stuff. But the boy Rebel, he rebuttaled with this video. And we're going to take a look at it right here uh, real fast. And he said he ain't had no issue with the uh, with defense. He just said it's mostly about positioning. And um, let me, I'm going to get the exact quote that he says. He says, uh, it's not, bro. Uh, it's all about, it's all about positioning, timing, IQ. I had no problems with paint D um you know this year and but they do got to fix the shot contest system and uh looking at this that's all I you see is just, that's all you see is just it's a fest of of get that out of here but then i looked closer and i'm like bro here, these guys are not playing like regular humans and every one of these is an ai every one of those is an ai so the ai i don't even know how much stock we can really put into this because we know that ai's play way different than humans like no humans gonna do that the humans gonna go up fake that and then he gonna pump fake twice on the right side of the rim and go up ain't no human going straight up with that though like so so i i understand what he's saying but these are this is not something that we can take a metric from because every one of these is a bot if even one of them wasn't a bot i could probably take take it seriously but i can't even take this seriously um because like every one of these is a bot like all of them so it is what it is. And you know bots, bots on next gen, on current gen, while they're decent, bots on next gen are completely inept and useless. Only thing they're good for is a put back or a rebound or something like that. But y'all let me know if I'm wrong, man. Like I said, I feel like the driving paint defense, if you can square that guy up and you don't get your, you don't get your life quick dropped away, I think you're good. But like the dude was saying, for the most part, um, it's the standing defense, man. It's like you're there and they get the pump fake, pump fake, and you don't know if he's gonna pump fake or go up with it. So now he hits you with one of those in between instead of pump fake, and I'm gonna go up with it. And then he still hits the shot, or it says 95% smothered, and he still hits it. Or you see something else where it's like, like, like I said, man, my biggest issue is I'm already there. You done already done your drop step. I'm already here. The pro and then the problem with the drop step too is you got two versions of the drop step. When they drop step and then they just go on up or he drop steps and then he can pump fake. Sometimes and there's, there's no way to get a read on which one it is that he's going to do. In real life there is because when you drop step in real life, if he does a little hop gather and then drop step, you know he got to go up immediately with it. But but if he if he stops plant the foot and then hooks it around you and drops step, then you know he probably gonna pump fake. So, but there's no way to read that on the game. And then, like I said, my biggest pet peeve is when I'm already there and they pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, and it just slides you off of them. It, it dislodges you from your position and they haven't done anything, but they get they, it puts them in better position. So like, those are the only issues I got with the uh, paint defense, but that just wasn't a good indicator. I understand what Rebel was trying to say, but that wasn't a good indicator of, um, <clears throat> that wasn't a good indicator 
of what paint defense is in this game. I gotta call it. I gotta call it what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta play against some real people. Um, you gotta put a clip up there of you continuously stopping. Because if you can show me how to stop that pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, I'm gonna give you all the props in the world. But but you can't show me you playing against boxing and and think I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're right. Paint defense is cool. Like that's box. But anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm not being too harsh or whatever. Uh, like I said, again, man, thoughts, and thoughts, energy, all that good vibes to triumph, man. That's my guy, man. Link down in the description, man, to all his stuff. Go check him out, man. Uh, part of the OG status game. And um, everything else is everything, man. I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Town. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.